At six, there are safety concerns and confusion over eminent domain approval after the Iowa Utilities Board approved a multi-billion dollar carbon pipeline here in Iowa. Our Connor O'Neill is here, here uh, to tell us a little bit about all this frustration in our state right now, Connor. Yeah, frustrations, right, Stephanie? As you just mentioned, it's a $5.5 billion carbon capture pipeline project that was approved on Tuesday. And since then, some state officials and farmers have admitted to the environmental benefits behind this project, but others express concern that the pipeline would take people's properties. After two and a half years, the Iowa Utilities Board approved the Summit Carbon Solutions pipeline that will flow through states like Iowa and transport carbon dioxide from ethanol plants to North Dakota. Costing around $5.5 billion, the pipeline project has received pushback in the past over safety concerns for any potential leaks but also concern over the approval that Summit Carbon Solutions will be able to use eminent domain for the project to essentially take private land from people not wanting to sell it for public use. We're actually obviously opposed to eminent domain for a private industry. Um, I just have trouble wrapping my mind around that constitutionally. However, Summit Carbon Solutions has worked with farmers and landowners to get permission to use private land for a public project. Summit Carbon Solutions said about 75% of landowners along the pipeline route in Iowa have agreed to provide their land for the project. The Crawford County Board of Supervisors are against eminent domain, but ultimately signed a voluntary easement to allow Summit to use their property because it believed the project's potential benefits to the ethanol industry here in Iowa outweighed concerns. Everybody was talking about green energy. And uh, so these are the kind of things that if we're wanting to be open to business, if we don't have plans for that within our county or our state, we're probably going to be in trouble. Looking ahead, Summit said it still needs to get approval from North and South Dakota before proceeding further with the project, including with initiating construction. And since Tuesday, opponents of the Pipeline Network project, like the Iowa chapter of the Sierra Club, have said it plans to appeal the Iowa Utility Board's approval. Stephanie.